The Lord of Days daily reading comes from the book of the Apocrypha, and the book we are reading from is First Edras, and chapter 1 reads as follows. Josiah held the Passover in Jerusalem to his Lord and offered the Passover the 14th day of the first month, having set the priests according to their daily courses, being arrayed in their vestments in the temple of the Lord. And he spoke to the Levites, the temple servants of Israel, that they should make themselves holy to the Lord, to set the holy ark of the Lord in the house that King Solomon, the son of David, had built, and said, You will no more have need to bear it upon your shoulders. Now therefore serve the Lord your God and minister to his people Israel, and prepare you after your father's houses and kindred, according to the writing of David, king of Israel, and according to the magnificence of Solomon his son, and standing in the holy place according to the several divisions of the families of you, the Levites, who minister in the presence of your kindred, the children of Israel, offer the Passover in order and make ready the sacrifices for your kindred, and keep the Passover according to the commandment of the Lord, which was given to Moses. And to the people which were present, Josiah gave 30,000 lambs and kids and 3,000 calves, these things were given of the king's substance, according as he promised to the people, and to the priests and Levites, and Helchius, and Zacharias, and Asilius, the rulers of the temple, gave the priests for the Passover 2,600 sheep and 300 calves. And Jeconias, and Samias, and Nathaniel, his brother, and Sabias, and Elias and Joram, captains over thousands, gave to the Levites. For the Passover, 5,000 sheep and 700 calves. And when these things were done, the priests of the Levites, having the uncleaved bread, stood in comely order according to the kindred and according to the several divisions by fathers' houses before the people to offer to the Lord as it is written in the book of Moses. And so did they in the morning. And they roasted the Passover with fire as appertains, and the sacrifices they sawed and the brazen vessels and cauldrons with a good savor and set them before all the people. And afterward, they prepared for themselves and for the priests, their kindreds, the sons of Aaron, for the priests offered the fat until night. And the Levites prepared for themselves and for the priests, their kindred, the sons of Aaron. The holy singers also, the sons of Asaph, were in their order according to the appointment of David to wit, Asaph, Zacharias, and Adianos who was the kings of the kings retinue. Moreover, the gatekeepers were at every gate. None had need to depart from his daily course. For their kindred, the Levites prepared for them. So were the things that belonged to the sacrifices of the Lord accomplished in that day in holding the Passover and offering sacrifices upon the altar of the Lord according to the commandment of King Josiah. So the children of Israel, which were present at the time, held the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread seven days, and such a Passover was not held in Israel since the time of the prophet Samuel. Yes, all the kings of Israel held not such a Passover as Josiah's, and the priests and the Levites and the Jews held with all Israel that were present in their dwelling place at Jerusalem. In the eighteenth year of the reign of Josiah was this Passover held, and the works of Josiah were upright before his Lord with a heart full of gold godliness. Moreover, the things that came to pass in his days have been written in times past concerning those that sinned and did wickedly against the Lord above every people and kingdom, and how they grieved him exceedingly, so that the words of the Lord were confirmed against Israel. Now after all these acts of Josiah, it came to pass that Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, came to raise war at Carchemish upon Euphrates, and Josiah went out against him. But the king of Egypt sent to him, saying, What have I to do with you, O king of Judea? I am not sent out from the Lord God against you, for my war is upon Euphrates. And now the Lord is with me. Yes, the Lord is with me, hastening me forward. Depart from me, and be not against the Lord. However, Josiah didn't turn back to his chariot. He undertook to fight with him, not regarding the words of the prophet Jeremy spoken, by the mouth of the Lord, but joined battle with him in the plain of Megiddo, and the princes came down against King Josiah. Then said the king of it to his servants, 
Carry me away out of the battle, for I am very weak. And immediately his servants carried him away out of the army. Then he got up upon his second chariot, and being brought back to Jerusalem, he died and was buried in a sepulcher of his fathers. And in all Jewry, they mourned for Josias. And Jeremy, the prophet, lamented for Josias. And the chief men with the women made lamentation for him to this day. And this was given out for an ordinance to be done continually in all the nation of Israel. These things were written in the book of the histories of the kings of Judea. And every one of the acts of the that Josias did in his glory and his understanding in the law of the Lord and the things that he had done before and the things now recited are reported in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah. And the people took Jochaz, the son of Josias, and made him king instead of Josias, his father, when he was 20 and three years old. And he, re he reigned in Judea and in Jerusalem three months. And then the king of Egypt disposed him from reigning in Jerusalem. And he set a tax upon the people of a hundred talents of silver and one talent of gold. The king of Egypt also made King Jochum his brother king of Judea and Jerusalem. And Jochum bound the nobles, but Zerachis, his brother, he apprehended and brought him up out of Egypt. Five and twenty years old was Jochum when he began to reign in Judea and Jerusalem. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. And against him, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, came up and bound him with the chain of brass and carried him to Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar also took of the holy vessels of the Lord and carried them away and set them up in his own temple at Babylon. But those things that are reported of him and of his uncleanliness and impiety are written in the chronicles of the kings. And Jochum, his son, reigned in his stead. For when he was made king, he was 18 years old, and he reigned three months and ten days in Jerusalem, and did that which was evil before the Lord. So after a year, Nebuchadnezzar sent and caused him to be brought to Babylon with the holy vessels of the Lord, and made Sedechus king of Judea in Jerusalem. When he was one and twenty years old, and he reigned eleven years, and he also did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, and cared not for the words that were spoken by Jeremy the prophet from the mouth of the Lord. And after King Nebuchadnezzar had made him to swear by the name of the Lord, he forswore himself and rebelled and hardening his neck and his heart, he transgressed the laws of the Lord, the God of Israel. Moreover, the governors of the people and of the priests did many things wickedly and passed all the pollutions of all nations and defiled the temple of the Lord which was sanctified in Jerusalem, and the God of their father sent by his messenger to call them back because he had compassion on them and on his dwelling place. But they mocked his messengers, and in the day when the Lord spoke to them, they scoffed at his prophets, so far out that he, being angry with his people for their great ungodliness, commanded to bring up the kings of the Chaldeans against them, who killed their young men with the sword and around, around their holy temple, and spared neither young man nor maid, old man nor child, but he delivered all into their hands. And they took all his, the holy vessels of the Lord, both great and small, with the vessels of the ark of the Lord and the king's treasures, and carried them away to Babylon. And they burned the house of the Lord, and break down the walls of Jerusalem, and burn the towers thereof with fire. And as for her glorious things, they never ceased until they had brought them all to nothing. And the people that were not slain with the sword, he carried to Babylon, and they were servants to him and to his children, until the Persians reigned to fulfill the word of the Lord by mouth of Jeremy, until the land has enjoyed her Sabbaths, the whole time of her desolation, which she keeps Sabbath to fulfill threescore and ten years. Amen.